Have you ever wondered how to promote your food business online? What should you do in order to get the necessary orders to survive in this competing market? How can you express the quality of your food, the quantity of your food, the awesome experience which your potential customer will have by using social media as a medium in order to reach to the potential customers? If you are really struggling with this challenge, then I would request you to just spend five minutes with me watching this video till the end and you will have a clear plan of how to promote your food business online. My name is Gopal Kamath. I am a hotelier, restauranter and the founder of Get Your Restaurant YouTube channel. By the way, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I would request you to just click subscribe button below and press the bell icon if you are watching this video on facebook group on my page or on my instagram just join the group jo uh, like the page so that you will get to know whenever i come up with anything new in order to help you to set up your successful food business it will just pop up on your mobile phone or on your desktop or wherever you are watching it so coming back to the topic of the day of how to promote your food business online i have a very very cool presentation for you so let's go on my desktop and i will explain to you point by point what all you should do in order to promote your food business online let's go on my desktop yeah so how to promote your food business online we have around 10 points which we have to discuss firstly in order to promote your food business online the no-brainer and the basic thing is you have to be present online. You have to have your presence online. You have to open those Facebook uh, fa Facebook uh, uh, pages. You have to create those Facebook pages. You have to start your YouTube channels. You have to create your Instagram account. You have to create your uh, Facebook group. If you are not online, how can you expect to uh, express yourself online? So this is a no-brainer, but a lot of times people don't know how to do it. The best idea or the easiest way i would tell you to do is just get hold of a younger guy if you are clueless about how to do this first of all it is not that hard it is very very user friendly but still if you are little uh, if you don't know how to use computers and all just get hold of a young a young your son your daughter your chacha mama whoever is there just get hold of him and tell him to do it because the younger generation have their chip which is embedded in their mind and they are they are they are just they are just one level up as far as these uh, digital uh, social media channels and everything is concerned technology is concerned so be present online secondly it is not just enough to being present online you have to keep on showing up by putting some or the other stuff related to your food online so if you talk about facebook you have to keep on creating posts you have to keep on uh, recording videos and posting it online if it's instagram you have to keep on uh, sharing photos if it is your youtube channel you have to keep on creating some or the other content so just opening a, a channel or opening a page is not enough frequency matters the quality of the uh, video might be a little down or up that is fine but the more frequent you show up on these channels the more people will listen to you, watch you, read about you, and the more you will have engagement. The third is reviews. If you're if you're if you are just talking about uh, uh, your if you are just telling about your ch channels, if you are just telling about your pages, about your uh, uh, groups, you have to share them with your uh, uh, customers, and you can then request them to put a review on their channels, put a video on their channels, you know, share your events on their channels because that is what will create engagement. All the time you cannot keep on posting about your food and you cannot tell people to buy your stuff, buy your stuff. That will be a little boring. You have to keep on being creative about coming up with new, new ideas and uh, it's a vast ocean out there. So you don't have to worry whether I'll be right, I'll be wrong and all. Keep on posting and people will uh, people will watch what they like people will just skip what they don't like so the frequency is one thing which you have to keep in mind so before we go to the next point which is which is uh, which is advertising in local areas i would like to remind each and everybody of you watching this video please subscribe to this youtube channel share it with your friends and uh, on your page 
on your Facebook or on your uh, Instagram so that whenever we are coming up with anything new as far as this channel is concerned, you get to know and be notified as early as possible. So the, uh, the next point is advertise to local area. Lot of times people just focus, the people just think that, you know, our food quality is good, you know, so we will get customers. But that's not the case nowadays. Nowadays, the competition is very, very cutthroat and uh, there are so many businesses. You have to advertise in your local areas and especially Facebook and uh, Instagram have cre made it easy for you to literally target, geo-target. What I mean by geo-target is you can literally select your pin codes and show your ad to people uh, uh, staying in those pin codes. So make sure that whatever you want to sell, you create nice Facebook posts out of it and you show them via Facebook, spending a little bit money, show them and then draw them, to tell uh, you know, you can direct them to call you and that is how you can increase your orders. Now, the other point is you have to think beyond transaction. What I mean by that is don't always think about selling food. Uh, you have to think about creating a relationship with your customers. And that is when the real depth will come. That is when the long term effect of your business will come. The snowballing effect of your business will come. That is where you can really, really create a loyal base, loyal fan base. And that will help you to go the long way. So make sure that it is not only about the specific, of course, you have to focus on the transaction, but focus on creating a relationship with your customers because that will really ensure that you keep on getting orders from your customers. Type agree in the uh, description section or the comment section if you understand this point. This is very, very important. Now, uh, now the next point is events and launches. You have to keep on coming up with new things. If it is a festival, if it is a, if it is Diwali, if it is Holi, if it is Ganesha festival, anything which is coming up, you try to create a small menu and post it online. This is one more reason to come in front of your customers. And this is one more indirect way of telling your customers that we exist and please order from us. So it doesn't have to always be about food. It can be about festivals. It can be about cuisine, it can be about information related to food, it can be about the owner's profile, it can be about your staff's profile, it can be about the brand's history, it can be about uh, anything which is going on in the marketplace. So you have to think about different different ideas and keep on sharing it and that is how people will uh, come and will stick to you. Now the social media channels and the online activities which you are doing or which you are sharing are, it is kind of like your mirror. So, you know, if, so imagine you, you're going out, you will first check, you will first get ready, you will put on makeup or whatever, and then you'll check yourself in the mirror to see whether you are, whether you are looking good or no. The same way a, a social media channel and online is your business's mirror. So you have to keep it very, very clean. You have to keep yourself clean or rather whatever you are posting, you have to keep it clean and individual from your personal life because it is a mirror and whatever you are sharing, your people are watching and you your brand is depicting it. So you don't have to be, I mean, whatever your personal choices are, you can keep it aside, but keep your image as far as your food business very, very spick and span and please as possible. Now, the, the ninth point is omnipresence. What I mean by omnipresence is, it is not just enough to share content on one channel. A lot of times I have seen business owners and restaurant owners when I tell them, you know, are you on Instagram? I am not on Instagram. Are you on uh, LinkedIn? I am not on LinkedIn. So you have omnipresence means you have to create your content once and you can then repurpose it. You can then share it on different, different channels. You can cross connect each other so that you are. So it's kind of like your customer, wherever is turning up 360 degree, he is watching you. If he goes on Facebook, he sees your post. If he goes on LinkedIn, he sees your post. If he goes on Instagram, he sees your image. If he goes on somewhere, uh, YouTube, he can see your video. So that is where he, he will get emotionally connected to you subconsciously and become your loyal customer. This is one of the very, very important tactic which you can use in order to create lifelong loyal customers. And the last point is take one step at a time. I know it is uh, it might be new for you. And uh, it might be a little overwhelming, but just focus on one thing at a time and just keep on doing it. And you will reach a point where everything will start falling into place 
all the uh, components of the machine will start running and you will start getting the ripple effect or rather the snowball effect so make sure make sure you don't get overwhelmed just chill and take it one step at a time i hope everybody all of you loved this video on how to promote your food business online if you really love this video subscribe to this channel by clicking the uh, uh, clicking the link below and i i conduct a 5 days workshop once or twice a month for people who are serious about taking the next step towards starting their own food business so if you have reached that position in your life where you are ready to learn about the food business plan your food business so that one day or the other you can open a, a food business of your own click the link in the description section there is a link also shown under this video you can go directly or you can find a link in the description section and click on it register for my 5 days live whatsapp uh, uh, workshop and in that workshop i talk about all, all the 5 days first day we talk about the food business owners mindset second day we talk about how to select the right location third day we talk about which type of concept to choose you know which type of concept to think about opening fourth day is all about which target clientele to choose and fifth day we bring it all together and teach you how to create a successful food business of your own plus i do live question and answer sessions one on one on this in these five days so if you are really at that stage where you want to go more deeper don't think twice about it just go and click the link below register and we will meet whenever this uh, five days workshop is happening join my facebook group it is again given in the uh, description section all the links are given in the description section you can you can just uh click them click them so that you are in my sphere of influence you are in my network and uh, anything i create anything i share whenever i come live anything comes up i am uh, directly in touch with you so i hope this uh, video was helpful for uh, everybody uh, please comment what you learned in this video and uh, so that everybody else gets inspired and i will see you in the next video or in my live session wherever uh, fate uh, call, brings us together thank you so much for watching this video this is gopal kamath signing off bye everybody love from me bye bye